The Forest Detective, case number four. A fly was wandering around to find a nice smelly spot. Oh, sorry. It was resting on a leaf when something monstrous attacked it. Around the same time, an ant on another leaf was attacked in the exact same way. Both the fly and the ant put up a good fight, but in the end, they lost. Those poor buggers. Who could have attacked them? Who and why was it to eat them? <laughs> if we want the truth, we need to become a fly and make the culprit come to us. Huh? Why me? <laughs> More! More! Sound more like a fly! That's perfect! Now let's move out! This is where the ant and the fly were attacked. Initiate mission! No. <laughs> I won't get eaten, right? Aw, <laughs> oh, man, you're not a real fly, really. Fess up! You attacked the fly and the ant, didn't you? Fess up! No way, dude! I just moved here today! This is my first hunt! Huh? Uh, 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 really? Well, it looks like my first prey won't be a fly, but I guess I can make do with you guys! <laughs> uh, 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 hey! Wait for me! If we only had some solid clues. Look, huh? it's an ant! Huh? Where, where? I bet if we follow that ant, we'll be able to find the culprit. Come on, let's tail him! <laughs> I think he came this way. Oh, uh, hey guys, huh? what's this? Uh -huh. After investigating, we found out that it was an ant lion's larva's trap pit. Hey! Did you just eat the ant that came this way? Ant? I haven't seen an ant in days! D don't you lie! Baba! Lay into her more! She's lying through her teeth! Uh, hey, the ant's huh? over there! Uh, wait! So it wasn't eaten by the ant lion larva? Uh, let's keep following it! I'm <laughs> thinking! The ant disappeared again. Did it fall into the ground? Did it rise to the sky? How could it have disappeared into thin air? Oh, oh. I hear a fly! Oh. Over that way! <laughs> Hey, Pete! I almost died back there! Baba, <laughs> did you see a fly? Uh, no. I could have sworn I heard a fly. First the ant, and now the fly have disappeared without a trace. What kind of shenanigans is going on in this forest? You know, these things are everywhere. What are they, flowers? Hmm. They look really strange. Ah, uh, Molly, make like a fly again so we can find that fly. Uh, huh? Where did Molly go? That's funny. She was here a minute ago. Uh, 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 huh? Molly? 
First the ant, then the fly, and now Molly! 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 Where are you? Molly! Huh? Wow, the smell of sweet honey! It's coming from over here! Oh! Oh-ho-ho! Ho. It smells so yummy! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Baba! Have you found Molly? Uh, Baba? Baba? Uh, ba -ba -ba Baba's gone too? N n n no way! What if the monster that attacked the poor ant and fly has gulped down my Molly and Baba? What if he's after me right now? Oh, ah, don't fail me now! Help me! Help me, please! I couldn't believe my eyes, but I decided to observe the plant that had attacked Molly. Suddenly. Apparently, the plant was a carnivorous plant that preyed on insects by luring them in with strong smells. Carnivorous plants live in areas where the soil lacks nutrients, so they eat insects to get the nutrients they need. Case number four. What attacked the fly and the ant? It was the carnivorous plant. Now finally, the mystery is solved! Molly, the case is closed. You can stop with the fly sounds. It's not me, Pete. What? Then who? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> there are many kinds of carnivorous plants. Some of them attract insects with sweet honey and then plop. Others have sticky surfaces so that insects can't escape. And then it's bye-bye. 